channel. My name is Rumi and um, I have here with me Adana. Alright, in today's video we're gonna be um, talking to you about Christian Girls Essential. Um, but before we dive into the video, we just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's been watching our video. We want to thank you for all the likes, we want to thank you for all the comments, we want to thank you for all the shares. Um, we pray that God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, what are, we, what are we doing today's video? Um, we know that we are a product of our environment. We know that um, whatever we allow into our space can actually motivate us or demotivate us. Mm -hmm. Whatever we allow into our space can actually stir up our passion for God or, you know, it can actually, you know, bring it down. So it's very important that we know the things that are essential for us as children of God, you know, to stay, to stay firm in the faith. So... We're going to be sharing our essentials with you. We have about seven or eight of them. So we're going to dive into the video now. And I hope you enjoy this video and you're also blessed. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's just, um, as she said, um, the essential is just like um, when you see a lady, there are some things that you must find in her bag. Yeah. Like some things that she can never leave the house without. Yeah. That is exactly what this means. So as a yeah. Christian, as a Christian girl, as a Christian lady, as a Christian mommy, yeah. they are just some things that have to be found with you at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Every time, everywhere. Yeah. Um so the first one will be the Bible. Yeah. Don't be intimidated by this big Bible. <laughs> you can um, get the smaller ones to fit in your bag, and yeah. um, depending on the kind of bag you carry. But obviously, as you know now, as a mom, I carry a big bag, yeah. so um, this fits in. And I also have a small one that I go out with, actually, okay. but this looks very pretty. So the Bible. Now this is the Word of God. Yeah. This is our manual as Christians on earth. Yeah. This is like you know when you get the product. Yeah. That book that comes with the product to tell you how to use that product. Now this is the manual for every Christian. Yeah. This is the word of God from God yeah. Himself. Yeah. This is the only way. Yeah. That not the only way, but this is the major way that God talks to us yeah. on earth. So as a Christian, you always have to have your Bible. Yeah. You always have to have your manual that makes you a Christian. It helps you to talk to God at every given time of your life. Yeah. And with the Bible, you can never go wrong. No. And the Bible, I must say, <laughs> because you know one thing I discovered about the Bible is with every time you read the Bible, you get the word from God. Definitely. Like even if you read one particular verse, 10 times yeah. you get different meaning yeah. every time yeah, and for every situation you're in yeah. there is something to comfort you yeah. from this bible correct this is like the most important book yeah. on earth for yeah. every christian to have correct that's it for the bible yeah. yeah can i just add that um for christian girls i want to say that you should get the bible in format that um it's easy for you to understand mm -hmm. because it's very vital for you to know the word mm -hmm. okay it's very vital for you to know the word of god so i would encourage that you get it in formats or in versions that you understand for me mm -hmm. i like it um, i like the niv i like the um, nlt version i like the amplified version simply because they're um they're um easy to understand um, kjv is kind of uh, complex for me to understand i actually so, like KJV. <laughs> I actually like him doing fashion oh. because you know when you see things like down nowhere, <laughs> you go where it, yeah. it feels like it's coming from the mouth of God himself. <laughs> That's just me. Oh, oh, but oh. but I actually anytime I read Kim Jin's fashion, I actually have an English fashion. Okay. That I refer it to. Okay. So I read that word. That's just me. Yeah, yeah, personal. Yeah, yeah. I read that word. Yeah. Because it makes me feel like, oh, this is like the main thing, undiluted, undigested. <laughs> then I go to the English version when I don't understand something. Okay. 
So Fair enough. yeah. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you the version. Like, yeah. So we're just encouraging you to get um, the Bible in versions that you like. And also, just want to let you know that the Bible also comes in audio versions as well. Yeah. Um, if it, um, yeah, it, it, it's good to have the, you know, but when you don't have access to having the ad copy Bible, there are audio versions. You can have it on your cell phone just as you have your Instagram app. Yeah. and your Facebook app, you can Correct. have the Bible app on your cell phone as well. Yeah, so I move quickly to um, second item, um, Christian Girl Essentials. I'm going to be talking about journals, journals and um, highlighters, colored highlighters, <laughs> journals and highlighters. So what we do with a journal is um, you, you know, jot down points, like when you study your Bible, you jot down what the Lord is telling you. Um, when you get a fresh revelation, you know, you jot it down. Um, whatever the Lord is saying to your heart, you write it down. Um, journals are very important because it helps you to, you know, keep record and all. Mm. And um, highlighters are good for um, when you study a particular verse that, you know, you know, ministered deeply to you. You could actually pick it up and, you know, highlight it in your Bible. Um, if you open that Bible, you will see different portions and verses that um, have been highlighted so um, yeah I would recommend um, a Christian girl for your Bible study time have your journal your pen yeah we don't have a pen yet but have your journal your pen to write and also your highlighters yeah and then uh, yeah the, the, the journals you know you can actually write um, Bible verses on your yeah, journal yeah. like some some Bible verses that actually strikes you, that speaks to you. Yeah. It's easier to just write it down and refer back to it anytime yeah. than looking for it. Um, yeah. Because I don't think there's is there anyone that actually knows every single verse in the Bible? Probably. Yeah, I Probably. I, I, <laughs> I would love to hear from that person. Know, but know. at least it helps. It helps. Uh, I would say it helps me because I refer to it. So when I need um say when I need a verse yeah. that speaks to me about not being scared, yeah. I know what, which one to go to because it's in my journal. Yeah. I don't have to start searching the Bible. I just go straight to it. It yeah. speaks to me and that's it. Yeah. Um, I want to say that um, you could also use the journal to keep, um, to write down prayer points. Mm. If you've got prayer points, um, you know, you could actually have a prayer journal and just write down prayer points. And it also helps you to keep track of, you know, when God actually does something yeah. for you, right? Because yeah. when you go back to your journal, probably you wrote something last month mm. and you go back to your journal, mm. you see that, oh, God has actually done this. Yeah. If you don't keep record, you might not, you know, it remember. Helps. So, prayer journals, thanksgiving journals and all that, it helps. Yeah, it, ha- it helps you to be thankful to God. Definitely, you know, like definitely. when when situations are just so difficult yeah. and you open it and you see that oh actually God has actually done a few things for me. Yeah. Um it helps you to be thankful. Yeah. Because it's actually easy to forget. Definitely. It's actually very easy to forget yeah. what God has done or yeah. what someone has done for you. Yeah. It's always easy to focus on the problems than yeah. the solution or yeah. on the, the matters at hand than the ones that have been solved. Yeah. So that will actually come very handy. Yeah. Really, really handy. Yeah. I actually learned that from um one of my moments in the Lord. Mm-hmm. She'll always be like, Adana, write down everything God has done. Or write down what you want God to do yeah. for you. Yeah. Then in five years, visit it yeah. and tick off the ones he has done for you. Yeah. And actually, you know, when I did that, that was when I became a thankful person oh. because yeah. I actually saw that God has done more, he has solved more problems yeah. than I had. Mm. So I mean, yeah, it is, it is, God is actually very good, yeah. good. Yeah. it's just that we are, <laughs> I'll leave that okay. for another video. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we we'll move quickly to the next um, Christian girl essential. Um, the next one I'm going to be talking about is um, um, devotional. Um, devotionals are very good, you know, they help us, you know, they are like a guideline, you know. Um, they help us. It helps you start your day, definitely, basically. Definitely. So it's very advisable and it's very good for us to, you know, start our days with devotionals. But I know that there are some people, right, that don't like um, 
you know having their devotions in the morning some mm. people actually um, you know like to have to read their devotion out at night mm. so the most important thing for you is just to read it mm. while either you read it in the morning or at night anyway but i know most people do in the morning mm. so devotionals come like they are like different plans they come in different topics and all that stuff we're gonna insert some devotionals some very good ones mm. in the video um, another christian girl essential of course you know we live in um, an IT world now mm. and we know that um, technology is just you know Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. So Everywhere. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna advise a Christian girl to have a Christian app on her phone. Okay. Mm. There's this very good one. It's called the U version app, and that is why I use. It. That's, that's what I use as well. <laughs> that's what I use as well. A lot of people use the U version app. Um, you know, on the U version app, you actually have a Bible on the app. Mm. You know, we talked about different versions of the Bible. Mm. If you don't have um, money to get, you know, Bibles in different version yet. Just download the U version app. It comes with different Bible versions. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with devotionals as well. It comes with different plans, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a very good um, Bible app. And one thing I like about it, it comes with um, verse of the day as well. Yes. Every day. Yes. Every day. Yes. Yeah. Every day. It, yeah. it gives you a notification yeah. with the verse of the day. Yeah. I was actually going to mention that you know about the highlights that we talked about. Yes. It actually has yes. highlights there it does, as well. It, does, it, it, does. it has the ability to highlight yes, and, it does. and it keeps record yes, of it all does. the verses you open. Yeah. So like a history. So yeah. it's more like a journal as well. Yeah. So you can actually um we would encourage you to download it from Play Store or your um Apple Store. Actually download this app and use it. Um, for your devotionals, for your Bible study, you know, to compare versions and all that. I mean, um, I actually noticed uh, not quite long as well that you can actually add friends. You know, check what oh, your really? friends. Yeah, yeah, you can add oh. friends. You can actually decide to make it private or make it public. Whatever plan you are reading, whatever, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, it works that way. So. You can actually encourage one another trait. Uh, it's got a lot of features, it's got a lot of features that mm. you could actually explore and you know to help you grow your faith in the Lord. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's nice. So um the number one to number four that we've just spoken about, you know, the Bible, the journal, the highlighters, the pen, um, the Bible lap, you know, mm. they help you with your quiet time, you know, basically when you sit down to study and all they help with your quiet time. So I'm gonna add two things. Um some people like, you know, when they're having their quiet time, they like to take coffee or tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they like to take coffee, they like to take tea. Some people like to listen to, you know, Worship music. I love that. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So those are essential. So you need your worship songs. You know, songs that would stir up your spirit. That we'll would put you in the mood. Yeah. We'll bring yeah. like like we'll bring the spirit of the Lord down. Yeah. yeah. And put you in that mood to hear from God Himself. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, um. So the next one I'm going to be talking about is character. Okay. Now as a uh, Christian girl, yeah, you need to be Christ-like. Yeah, you need to have that character that Jesus Himself emulated when He was here on That's Earth. Right. Now, this characters I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, it, it, I, I, I was, I was saying to someone, I think it was you, me, that I was telling that you, it's actually easier to say things than do them. Yeah. It's easy to say, forgive, yeah. when you're not in that situation. Yeah. It's easy to say, smile, even <laughs> when you're upset, when yeah. you're not in that situation. Yeah. It's easy to say, love, but really, how do you love someone that <laughs> is? <laughs> Should I say unlovable yeah. or very difficult, difficult yeah. to love? Yeah. You know, so these things are um, sometimes they look like they are um, easier said than done. Yeah. But if we look at the fruit of the spirit from Galatians chapter five from twenty two, this is like what God has commanded us to do. Yeah. Now, you need to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, long-suffering, meekness, 
and all, yeah. and all. Yeah. you need to have those things yeah. for you to be called a Christian yeah. and you need to have those things for you to emulate Christ if I may say yeah. and talking about love you know <laughs> I think it's actually quite difficult but when you learn to love everything else becomes easy definitely you know when um, the disciples asked um, Jesus Christ was the he said was the the greatest the greatest yes, yes. the greatest Jesus said love is the greatest yeah one so of all. love the lord your god with all your heart and mm. then love your neighbor as yourself, as yourself. um it's actually <laughs> practically speaking um it's not um we wouldn't use the word easy but with the help of the holy spirit mm. you know when we receive christ um we receive the holy spirit and this fruit that you just mentioned has sown into our lives so they begin to grow they begin to grow those things we mentioned earlier how do they grow you know spending time with god you know yes, uh, studying the word the Bible of god comes in very handy. Yes. so if you don't spend time to study the word if you don't spend time in prayer talking to god um the tendency for you to find it difficult mm. but if you spend time with god the more you spend time with god the more you study the word the more you pray you know the more you you know fellowship with god mm. and it, it becomes easy mm. it becomes easier it's not easy but with the help of the holy spirit it becomes easier <laughs> true true very yeah. true because yeah. i mean and you know the bible says um all things become all things have passed away yeah now you become new yeah um trust me i don't want to tell you how it was before i became a christian <laughs> don't let me start yeah but i'll say that um it's things comes easily now yeah it comes easily because you just think nothing is what's going to hell over no really nothing no, nothing no. nothing on this earth is what going to hell no, over no. nobody nothing because at the end of the day we we'll only give it we only have about i have about 120 years to be on earth so you all you you <laughs> Don't you? You do, right? Yeah. It has to be one twenty, you know. By the grace of God, <laughs> God has promised, and yeah. He always the keeps His word. God, yeah. Um. So you know, you, you have been given to existence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have just one twenty to stay on earth. Yeah. Why? Why make it difficult? Because I've, you know, I've actually noticed that every time you're angry at someone, for me, every time I'm angry at someone, when I see the person, my heart starts to skip. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else. You become, yeah, you become very. Um, um, you become restless. Yeah. You become agitated, yeah. and you know, you stay in your house, grudging over someone that is in wherever he is, taking pepper soup. I don't know. This is actually a topic on its own, and I feel like we should treat it. In you should topic. actually make yeah. a video for this, you know. Yeah. But you know, let us know. Let us know your difficult areas, things you think we should talk about, things you think are difficult for you, and um, with the help of everyone in this channel, we will be able to help each other. That's what this channel is for, anyway. Yeah. All right. So the next Christian girl essential I'm gonna be sharing with you is um having um good um godly godly relationships. Okay. Um, you are a product of. Is there a proverb that says, "Show me your friend, and I'll tell you who you are." Who are so uh, <laughs> together. <laughs> the Bible says, and um, is this Psalm chapter one? Say, "Blessed is the man that standeth not." the counsel of the ungodly yeah yeah so you need as a christian the bible has told us not to be unequally yoked you need to be around faith i call them faith builders you know, mm. you know there are some people that can drain your faith there are some people <laughs> that can drain you you know they can drain your beliefs so um imagine i come all right so you know um they're like um people that you just go to talk to and after you come back like i come to have a conversation with you mm -hmm. and when i come back i feel very very happy i feel very very motivated you stirred up the passion of christ in me and all that and i could also come to somebody else and when i live there even unhappier the person lives lives there you know depressed and all that so we should be very conscious about those uh, friends we should be conscious about the relationship to keep mm -hmm. even <laughs> who you marry as well you know because who you marry can make or marry you you know 
you, you who you marry can make or marry you so it's very essential if um if heaven is your goal if heaven is your focus then you need to marry somebody that the vision aligns with your vision mm-hmm. you need to marry somebody that believes in what you believe you won't marry somebody that does not believe so when you have faith in something and the person is telling you otherwise how does it work how does it work can two work together no, except they are agree yeah. so you need godly relationships godly friends um I mean, you can't choose your family members, you know. No, <laughs> you can't choose. Them. But um, if 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 you happen to find yourself in a family where um, they don't know Christ yet, you can be the light um, through your character. Like you said in previous ones, um, you can through your character win them over to Christ and know. So let's be conscious of our relationship. Another thing I would like to add is to get yourself. Um, it's not compulsory, but it's good to have a mentor, somebody that you can fall back on and say, mm. Oh, I did this, um, like an accountability partner, something like that. Um, this person will put you in check, you know, to see that you are actually working in faith. A mentor will be able to mentor you, a mentor will be able to teach you. So it's very important to get yourself um, somebody that aligns yeah. with your goal and Def- your passion Def- for Def- Christ. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was actually going to add to, um, you know, when you talked about um, not having someone that kills your spirit. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I was going to say, you have to be careful with that because yeah. some people, they don't intentionally kill your spirit, yeah. but maybe they just tell you the truth and we know the truth, the truth is hard to to take okay so you have to watch it do not classify those people as people that kill your spirit those people are people that just tell you the truth the truth for what it is mm. although they're not easy to come by though mm. but those people are not part of those people they're not part of the people that kill your spirit okay you know you know it's very important for us to be discerning mm. okay so it's very important um, Discernment is one of the, um, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, so it's very important for us to be discerning. Mm-hmm. When I come to you and I talk to you about an issue and you tell me the deep truth, I'll be able to discern, you know, from the place you are telling me from. Mm-hmm. I'll be able to discern your motive. Are you telling me this thing because, you know, there's a way you'll be able to discern this person's motive. This mm-hmm. person is doing it out of goodwill, out of love for me. But is this person doing it out of probably... Just, just, just to tell me that they are in charge. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. The, the last one we'll be talking about for today is fellowship. Um, the Bible says, "Do not forsake the gathering of the brethren." The brethren. Yeah. So, um, it helps. It helps build your spirit. Yeah. It helps build you up yeah. because when, when, when you you find yourself in the midst of people you like mind with, yeah. you like bull with people that have the same passion as you it helps you it helps build you it, and, and and david say i am glad when they say let us go into the yeah. house of the lord yeah. so it it, it it helps you because in that place everybody there although truth should be told not everyone in the, in the house of god is there for god mm-hmm. but majority of the people there and the presence of god is there god yeah. says where two or three are gathered are there in their midst yeah. that doesn't mean god is not with you when you're alone yeah. but it's just that the presence of god is it's yeah. more yeah. because imagine the fire you carry the fire i carry mm, corporate anointing. bring everyone together yeah. Yeah. just as she said spot on corporate <laughs> anointing yeah. you can never go wrong with that yeah. so always 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 and you know what always. the bible says again it says are you shopping Iron. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Rubber cannot sharpen iron. No, 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 no. You know? Yeah. So always, always, always make sure you find yourself in the gathering of the godly. Yeah. Always go to church, always yeah. go for midweek services. Yeah. But we know in this time because of um, what's going on, yeah. um, there are no services held in this part of the world. Yeah. Um but I know most churches actually have their programs online, online yeah. which is actually very easy. So you yeah. stay in your house, you connect, you yeah. know. At so the comfort of your home. At the com- yeah. comfort of your home. You don't you don't have to jump the buses or drive there. Yeah. You just stay in your house, yeah. you wear your pajamas if you like <laughs> and you connect. Yeah. So please it's actually very you know, I I just discovered how important it is. 
very how very important it is very, it very is very really 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 important yeah. that you always always get yourself to fellowship yeah. of the country yeah. of the people of god yeah and something it does it stirs up your spirit man it, mm. it encourages you and all that and for those that you know just for new converts those that just uh, uh, just coming into the the family of believers it's good for you to attend a church because um the churches usually have believers classes mm-hmm. where they teach you the basics of the bible they teach you key things that you need to know mm-hmm. um in churches as well you have the opportunity to join departments you know we're discussing yeah that we're earlier. actually yeah. discussing it that yeah. it helps it helps it helps build your spirit i would say it helps me because when you join a department mm-hmm. it helps you be more committed yeah, 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 yeah. And I was also going to say, you know, this our channel is actually a fellowship. If yeah. you say <laughs> so, That's so true. it's actually a place where you want to be. Yeah. And you know, I was just thinking. I think we were talking about this that one of these days we'll do like a live, uh, um, a, a live video for people to Definitely. call in, Definitely. comment, Definitely. and all that. Definitely. And so we can just worship. And we can fellowship together, together, yeah. like keep it real, keep it raw, yeah. keep it godly, yeah. and just let God have His way. Yeah, and that's the basis, um, that's the main, you know, aim of this channel. Yeah, and um, I just want that's to... the main reason why we're here on Earth, anyway. Definitely, we're gonna do it. Our next video is gonna be on. Uh, it's gonna address something on that okay mm-hmm. um we want to thank you for watching today's video um mm-hmm. if you have any if you feel like there are things we didn't add to this uh christian girl essential list mm-hmm. you can drop it in the comment section we want to know um other things that you feel are christian girl essentials that we've not touched yes, yes. and if you feel there are some things we said that shouldn't be there drop it and put your arguments i mean no, no argument. Let's go. No, I mean, it. no, yeah, yeah. What I mean is, well, what I mean, I don't mean like argue. <laughs> argue. What I mean is yeah. putting your reason why. Yeah. So if there's something we put in that you think shouldn't be there, put it and tell us why it shouldn't be there. All right. Because we're here to sharpen ourselves. Yeah. Um, and we're here to enlighten ourselves. Yeah. And we don't know it all. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It will be nice to hear from you guys to Definitely. know what you think, to know other essentials and to help others as well. Alright, so I um, would encourage you to please like this video. Yes. We would encourage you to share this video with your friends out there, people that you feel this video will be of great benefit to. Mm-hmm. Just share this video with them. We encourage you to comment. We would love to hear from you. Like yes. I said earlier on, mm-hmm. uh, we love your comments. It means mm-hmm. a lot to us. And um, if you have any any inquiries if you have and if you need to contact us in any way uh, uh email is in the description box um if you have other video suggestions as well that you like us to do please um, leave it in the comments as well yeah don't um, forget to subscribe don't forget to press that bell button so you get notifications for videos every time we put in one